Oh, and a huge thing of paper towels and then, you know, toilet paper, which you do not need to totally see. I think you know what it looks like. I got the roughest one last time. Oh my gosh, that stuff was terrible. <laughs> Jamie here and today I'm going to be doing a grocery store haul for you guys so I'm really excited about that I actually get my groceries delivered so it's really convenient so I've been trying to eat you know better starting oh today it's supposed to start today so I have to be you know a little better the past few weeks I've been totally slacking but you know like I was sick and Sean was sick and Ezra was sick and I don't know it's just really hard to do so now I feel like, okay, I am ready to get back on track. So, and I'm not going to say, like, I'm the healthiest eater. You'll definitely see some questionable things, but it's, like, things that work for me and help me with, you know, things that I've used to lose weight and stuff and whatever. I don't know. It's not, like, the best stuff, all of it, but maybe it'll be a little bit of inspiration, and it's kind of, like, I always, I want to eat even better one day, but this is a good transition kind of thing for me. Okay, so this is not for me. I get this is for my son who loves yogurt. I have a toddler. So he likes these um, Yo Kids smoothies and he likes these Stony Fields yogurt pouches. The yogurt pouches are the best because then there is no mess. Actually, sometimes there is. This is also his, these um, like organic squeezy applesauces. And then I have a few ingredients for a recipe I'm doing. So. I love Skinny Taste. She has the best recipes and they're all really healthy and low calories. If you're doing Weight Watchers, they show you Weight Watchers points. So I think she's the best. So some of these are the ingredients for them. So this is diced tomatoes and green chilies. Okay, I found this today. Do not make fun of me. It is Taco Bell hot sauce. I'm like, this is perfect. And then tomato sauce. So this is all for a really really flavorful but like healthy-ish low calorie kind of tacos that she has on there it's Madison's favorite tacos and you make them in the crock pot they are so good and then I got spaghetti noodles because my son loves spaghetti and marinara sauce which I'll show you the marinara that he loves he has to love the most expensive one so <laughs> so that'll be one of my dinners for the week and then I got Oh, a yellow bell pepper and an avocado. So, trying to think what meal that was for, because it was for something. Oh, I remember. The other dinner that I'm planning to make is from Skinny Taste also, and it's the chicken fajita pasta. I haven't made it yet, it looks so good, and she lists all the calories, so it's perfect. And you know when I'm like dieting and watching my weight, it's so nice to be able to have like pasta and stuff. So this will be a healthy one, and it just sounds so good. This looks like, oh, I got two Pico de Gallos by accident. I only wanted one. I wanted one for the tacos. So I love Pico de Gallo. I know I can make it, but it just seems like, I don't know, I'm too busy. This is cilantro that everybody has a love-hate relationship. Well, a love or hate relationship with. Me and Sean personally love cilantro. Some people it tastes like soap for. Not me, I love it. So this is going to go on the chicken fajita pasta. And then diced onions, which is for, I think, the tacos and the chicken fajita pasta. <laughs> so, dual purpose. Oh, and yeah, both of them are like Mexican food. So, me and Sean just love Mexican food. And I was like, is it okay if we do two Mexican things this week? So, he was like, yeah, I love it. And then green onions for the pasta. And then I'll link down below the two recipes that I'm making for the week if you're interested. So I got some ground beef. I got the lean ground beef. I think it's 90% um, lean. And then I just got like a pack of chicken. Um, I like to get the chicken like tender slices so that they're smaller cuts. It's just easier to work with. And then... Um, dishwasher tablets. We haven't had them for a while. It's been like a week and we've had to use the dishwasher, but yeah, aluminum foil, which I really want to stop using, but I, I want to start using parchment paper. I'm just so scared to put it in the oven. I know it's oven safe, but it like freaks me out. And then sandwich bags, because Ezra has to walk around with his snacks all over the house using those bags. 
And then I got these random sponges. I don't know. I needed some sponges quickly. I usually always get the smiley face sponge from Shark Tank. It's my favorite, but um, they never can find it here. So, but I needed a sponge. It was an emergency. Okay, next up. Sorry, it's like out of order. Um, so next up. Oh, this is really cool. I saw this on, um, I don't know, like on... I saw it somewhere, so I looked for it and I found it. It's called Bonza and it's um, rotini made from chickpeas. So it's made out of chickpeas. So it has more protein, a lot more fiber, 13 grams versus 3 grams in your average pasta, and then 43 grams of net carbs versus 71 carbs. I don't really pay attention to carbs so much, but... Um, I don't know. I like chickpeas. I love hummus. So I actually thought I might enjoy this pasta and it's just something different to try. It looks like it's the same amount of calories, but yeah, the fiber content's really good and who doesn't need more fiber? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I feel like it'll taste really good. Oh yeah, because I'm a little kid. I had to get some Swiss Miss hot chocolate and I wanted the one with marshmallows, but they were out. So she just got the chocolate flavor. It's okay. I'll add some whipped cream and then I always get the Annie's macaroni for my son, but the shells one is for me because <laughs> he won't eat the shell shaped one, just the regular. So I love the shells. So, And then some taco shells. Yum. This is a low sodium chicken broth. I believe it's for the tacos because it's no, it might, it's probably for the pasta. I don't remember, but um, on Skinny Taste, a lot of times she recommends a low sodium chicken broth, so I just go with it. I'm like, all right. She knows what she's doing. She does. She's so good. Oh! This is why people get my groceries. I cannot lift anything. Okay, next. Okay, I usually don't do this, but I did get the shredded lettuce, and I know, like, there's, it can be, I don't know, it, I feel like it, like, <laughs> gives people food poisoning sometimes because it can, like, get salmonella a lot easier and stuff or whatever it is. So, but I did get it because I was doing the tacos and I just wanted shredded lettuce, okay? <laughs> so, that's what I got. Um, it'll just be easy. This is, oh, I thought I only got one red. Oh, no. One of the red peppers is for the tacos and one is for the chicken fajita pasta. So, there was some overlap. So, that's good in a recipe. Except I needed two of them, so I guess, what does it matter? And then I got one thing of pep, or not pepper, one thing of garlic. So a lot of her recipes call for garlic. I love garlic. Organic bananas. Last week I got bananas delivered. They were gigantic. They were like out here. I was like, Sean, I don't know. These don't look organic. They're freaking huge. Okay, and then I got Papa Toppy noodles. These have been my favorite for, like since college, I think. I just... I think they're so cool and I still think of them as a fancy noodle even though it's not. So then here is the marinara sauce. I love this one. It's Rayo's or Rayo's? I don't know how you pronounce it. This is the marinara one. It is over $10 for this jar. It's very expensive. It's really good and it's literally the only one that my son will eat. So he has very expensive marinara taste. Okay, next up, veggie straws. I am totally sick of these. I do not eat these anymore. They're disgusting to me, but my son likes them. <laughs> and then um, organic raisins. He's obsessed with raisins, like in a way I have not seen by anybody. It's crazy. So this is a bag of Hershey Kisses. It keeps me sane. I put them in the freezer actually, and then, you know, they're only like 22 or 23 calories each, so I'll just go in the freezer after like a lunch or dinner and grab a couple of them. I get the chocolate kind of craving out of my system or, you know, a sweets craving, it's out of my system. And then I just feel like I can move on with my day and I'm not thinking, oh my gosh, I need chocolate, I need sweets, I need this or that. So it helps me with that whole sugar addiction problem. And Oreos, but they're actually the Oreo Thins and they're only 35 calories per cookie of this. And they're thin, but you know, you have a couple of them for 70 calories and you're good. It's not like the healthiest choice, but some of us, we just can't all be so healthy. I don't know. For me, it's a step in the right direction. I don't, you know, I would like it to be better. I would like to be making my own kind of like cookie out of oats or something. I don't know, but it just doesn't happen that way. And I'm busy and it's like, it's what I have to do for now. Okay, next up is 
some organic eggs. I stayed away from organic eggs for years. I was scared of them. I don't know. I just was not used to them, but I like them now. They're totally fine. I've been loving to make just like an egg over medium in the morning and put it on toast. It's so good. So that's what I got it for. I got some more organic salted butter. Sour cream. It's the light one. I usually stay away from like light or low fat, but I think this is okay because it's maybe just made with like um, uh, yeah, it's just made with skim milk, so it's not like there's anything added weird into it, but it's for the fajita pasta. And then I got cream cheese because we were out, and Sean brought home bagels yesterday, and I was like, I can't eat a bagel if I don't have cream cheese, so I got cream cheese for that purpose. I haven't gotten this in a while, but it's really good, and it's good to have on hand for like a quick dinner if you need. So Butoni makes really good pasta and sauces. This is the Alfredo sauce. I like it. They have a really good pesto, too. Um, it's not like the most low calorie, so it's 150 calories for a fourth of a cup, but it's fine and I was thinking of putting it on the chickpea pasta and it'll be really good in a quick dinner and something that I could count easily the calories of, so I don't know, I think it's fine. This is where you make fun of me, this is, this is bad, okay guys, this is the Yo Crunch M&M's, oh they actually found strawberry, they're always out of strawberry, it drives me crazy, the vanilla is good too, but I love the strawberry. So it's yogurt. It's not good for you at all. <laughs> it's 140 calories, including your M&M &M topping. And I hide from my child when I eat it and I'm like stirring it in. And one time I told him it was coffee. And I was like, this is coffee. It's for adults only. And I have to hide the M&Ms and stir them in quickly and cover them with the yogurt. But yeah, it's like, I have problems, okay? So sometimes I like this for like, um, just like for a snack or dessert. And I have to tell you, I do eat it a lot of times in the morning when I need something quick and yeah so I know it's not the best but and I'm not thinking oh I'm so healthy eating yogurt I understand there's a ton of sugar in here <laughs> I get it this is what I'm like typically buying it's always food it's not really clothes anymore these days it's food okay next thing I got are some Vanity Fair napkins nice to put in my napkin holder just some random paper cups because it's easier um, winding down here. Oh, I needed Parmesan cheese. We didn't have any for a while, and I don't like a lot of it, but just a little is like 15 calories, so it's good to have. I got pickles. I don't know. These don't look so good. I'm kind of picky about my pickles. They looked, I don't know, but they're a good thing to have because you can add them to a meal, or if you're just like desperate for food and you don't have a lot of calories left, it's kind of a nice thing. Um, I got these. These are really good. It's this brand Osun, and they're these mini croutons. You, okay, so they're not the healthiest, or they're not the lowest calorie, that's for sure. 140 calories for an ounce, which I kind of forgot about when I got them, but um, they're really good in soup, and I'm actually going to be making chicken noodle soup this week also. I don't have those groceries because I have to go to a couple nicer stores for them, so what I'm going to get for my soup is just like a pack of like cut up like chicken and then fresh dill, fresh carrots, fresh celery, a bouillon cube, and then these like special noodles that I like. So that's going to be the other like kind of meal for the week too. So it'll be really good. And then I got these little croutons. You can put a few into them if you're not doing noodles or something. So. Yeah, they're really good though. I got a little addicted. And then I got this wheat bread because I've been loving those like eggs on top of toast in the morning. So that was it. Um, oh, and a huge thing of paper towels and then, you know, toilet paper, which you do not need to totally see. I think you know what it looks like. I got the roughest one last time. Oh my gosh, that stuff was terrible. <laughs> I think this gives a good kind of reflection into how I'm eating and stuff and lifestyle. Um, I definitely feel like I can improve, but I think maybe I'll take you guys on a journey of like trying to improve and maybe that'll be my whole New Year's resolution thing is just some of the foods I need to be eating better, but I feel like pretty good about where it is right now. It's definitely better than just eating out all the time or making like totally unhealthy dinner recipes, but 
yeah so this is this is it hope you enjoyed it and i'll link the couple of recipes down below that i'm making for this week and thanks for watching make sure you follow me on instagram i have a new instagram thing it's jamie cheryl underscore i'll put it down below and then check out my store because of a because everything is 40 percent off using the code holiday 40 and we sell phone cases and donate a portion to charity so thank you so much i'll see you guys soon bye